Hey, we're fixing to restore an original Boss 302 windage tray. But before we do, let's talk about the next project here at Stevie's Crazy Garage. SEG has been studying the engineering and cost to produce a flat plane crankshaft kit for popular American V8 engines. SEG will crowdfund this on Indiegogo.com in April 2015. But enough on fundraising and background. Why do I need a flat plane crankshaft? What is a flat plane crankshaft? And why does the horsepower fanatic need it in the form of a kit? A quick, simple history lesson. The standard American V8 crankshaft is a 90 degree cross plane. America has built the cross plane crankshaft since day one. Although the number is certainly not 100% cross plane, the majority of flat plane crankshaft corner cases were for race only. So what is the difference between a flat and a cross? Let's look at the cross plane rotating assembly first. Crank, pistons, and rods. Crankshafts get their name from the location of the rod journals. For the cross plane one must look straight into the crankshaft, head on. Stripping away the rods, pistons, and counterweights, the rod journals can be seen on the edge of the crankshaft throw. The rod journal orientation forms a cross. Two rod journals are in a single plane and there are two planes at 90 degrees apart. If a thin piece of cardboard could be placed in these planes through the center of the rod journals and the crankshaft main journals, one can now see the X. The proper name should now just fall out of one's mouth. 90 degree cross plane crankshaft. And the flat plane? The straight on rendering shows the rod journals are all in the same plane. Putting in the thin piece of cardboard to illustrate the plane, one can clearly see the rod journals. Hence the proper name, flat plane crankshaft. The main advantages of the 2015 cross plane crankshaft are, number one, torsional loading is better distributed over the power stroke rotational average. The crank is smoother. And number two, there is a huge acceptance in the American V8 community for this type of crankshaft. The main disadvantage in this crank is that they are heavy. Here's the sound of an infamous American V8. The advantages of a 2015 flat crankshaft are, number one, the crank is light due to less mass in the counterweight areas. Less weight means a faster response and higher peak RPM. Number two, this crankshaft has an even or balanced firing order, which may promote exhaust scavenging. The main disadvantage is, the bigger the cubic inch displacement of the rotating assembly, Problems with torsional harmonics over the power stroke rotational average create an unnerving vibration. Building a tuned rotating assembly with high quality parts and modern thinking will reduce this irritation out of the power stroke. So why would one need a flat plane crankshaft in a 68 Mustang? A 9000 RPM capable small block is an impressive number. Oh yeah, I forgot the sound of a flat plane crank V8. <laughs> One sixty-eight Camaro will sound like an expensive European F R E at a radically lower price. The SEG flat crankshaft kit design will provide the crankshaft, pistons, camshaft, rods, bearings, and the important dampener for a modern flat crankshaft build. All of these parts need to be tuned to the engine being built for the smoothest operation and the most power production of the target engine. In the future, SEG will provide an RPM controlled, standing wave improved intake manifold to gain the most low end torque out of the target flat plane crank engine. This has been a brief introduction to flat plane crankshafts. To leave a comment or to check the status of the project, find us at steviescrazygarage.com, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube sites. April's rushing at us at a pretty good clip. Help SEG 
increase the horsepower options for the Fanatical.